Instagram. I'm here with my friends Carissa and Lindsay, and we have Lupe, Bree, and repeat your name. Tommy. 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 We got Tommy boy over here. We get, we get no FaceTime. No, I don't even want. Hands off. All right. All right. We are here. With a lot of friends I'm really today. concerned about this challenge, I'm not gonna lie. So I had this idea, you know, so many of you guys loved the food cook-off that we did that I figured we would redo this, but in that another Lupe way. That Lupe cheated on. Lupe <laughs> cheated! Lupe 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 cheated! That's not you. Want me to the real reason? <laughs> Wait, what is the real reason? <laughs> there is no I missed it. I missed it. Oh, I thought it was just oh. not a lot of room right. in the kitchen. We figured oh, four yeah, people that's might true. be a lot. Um, so I figured we would take fast food chains and remake the foods into something else. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> so today's is Taco Bell. <laughs> two beef tacos, two shredded chicken tacos, a beefy five layer, we got nachos bel grande, Yay. a chicken power bowl, and a steak power bowl. Can I just give oh. the burritos to Lupe? Be like, <laughs> so that is the one condition is you cannot take the meal and just be like, I put some garlic on it and called it a day. So last time I did not announce what our like special ingredients are, but I don't think it's a huge deal if I show it anyways. So we got these bad boys. Yum. We got the leftover. I was gonna say, that looks like pretty much the only thing I know what to do with. So thank God. Uh, we got the leftover, leftover bread. bread from last time. French baguette Ooh. is a sauce. I'm gonna eat half that. Yeah. I'm like, Guess how much it was at Wally World. 49 cents. Oh, a dollar. A dollar. Nice. We got some bacon because that did so well last time. The bacon was a hit. I brought yeah, pasta. Cheese, I don't. Wait, hold on. But if we're gonna make pasta, then we gotta add extra time. That's alone. <laughs> that alone is like but eight minutes. Ten minutes no. for al dente. There you go. Seven All minutes. right. It'd be like ten minutes max, and you can prep while you're doing it. Let me read. So we can still put. Like, I have a vision. <laughs> we got some pepperonis, some fiesta blend, mm. sour cream, uh, mild cheddar. We no, got no, I forgot the cheese from the last. <laughs> You got Parmesan cheese. <laughs> You're gonna do a cheese challenge. Next. Got some salsa. Massive flour tortillas. Start thinking, kids. All right. So um, this time around, we are gonna have three judges. We're gonna have Bree, Tommy, and Lupe be a judge. The same categories of creativity, overall taste, and what was the other one? presentation? Jesus, that was my know. win. Oh God. We should get a little extra time for this one. This isn't like yeah. just a sandwich thing. Okay. So how how long should we give it? Fifteen tops. Fifteen. Yeah, my well, my stove. I was gonna say my stove's not that twenty minutes. I say I think twenty's fair. It's gonna fly by. Lupe is so mad. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> This is what I do every time. I'm like, but is it okay to eat? <laughs> as a note, as a note, we are friends in this kitchen until three. <laughs> Two. Ready? Go. Challenge. No, no, no. This no, would no, be no, sour no. cream. Oh! Wow. Threw me for a loop, why don't you? Who <laughs> got the last? <laughs> We have someone who doesn't like sour cream and another person doesn't like two cats in the house where we have two cats. Oh dear. So a deer, a female deer. Oh, I'm taking this. Five minute intervals. You're gonna give me anxiety. Last time, I had to bleep out almost every word out of this girl. Listen. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Guys, listen, I'm just here for the competition. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I'm example number one. Little messy, messy, right, messy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else we got in here? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the problem. Did you take the meat out of this? Yep. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
I'm gonna do less. Less is more. Are you okay, for instance? No. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at that and that literally looks like it's vomiting. Wait till it all comes together. I'm, like, I'm sure it's gonna be great, sweetheart. But for now, it looks a little questionable, not gonna lie. Suspect. What, lo what looks suspect? I don't know. What we're giving you? This one. <laughs> <laughs> she might give you food poisoning while she's at it. Not intentionally, of course. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Oh my god. Yeah, you guys are gonna put the smoking alarm's gonna go off. Quality test? They just they destroyed all of the tacos. I like one. Oh, how to talk. Are you thinking it right now? Go oh, you dig into that. It's taking a lot of thought to come up with this. I need to get rid of that burn bacon. I haven't used it. I haven't used it for two years. Have you used that tea bar? That's that one. No, that no twerking. That was the part that I also had to cut out. Like <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we have three very different meals in front of us. Once again, that just comes to show our creativity between us three. We're uh, voting on creativity, presentation, and taste. And we'll One through ten. <laughs> yep, now so it's 13.5 crap. <laughs> For each meal, you guys have to guess who made it and what is the magic ingredient or Somebody ingredients rolls. that we pulled from the Taco Bell meals. So this is one, two, three. No. Don't try and look at my answers. I feel like you have to look at my answers. No, no she is already Listen, cheating. Listen, I could care less about her answers. I was looking at the dish. You roll real quick. Are you, does anyone want to eat this after or should I toss these out? Oh, I'm not hungry. It's an unfinished dish. Yeah, I'm not hungry. I have to eat this after. Oh, I thought you were literally going to be like, yeah, me neither. But I'll take nice. away these two. Are you guys finished with uh, yeah. Presentation? Yeah. Um, yeah. presentation? Yeah. All right. Meal number one. All right. Well, I'll right. take one of these. Same. Part of the meal. Very nice. I'm going to move your wine. Don't move go. the wine too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. We got some little meat over here. We have a nice little green garnish. I love that. Garlic parmigiani. Gravy. Yeah. Noodles are cooked nice. <laughs> we got to kick them out of the house. We just said noodles in my house a little. <laughs> What pasta? Pasta. Pasta. pasta? Yeah. This isn't pasta. These are noodles. Those are not noodles. Pasta is the long. No, oh, that's spaghetti. That is spaghetti. You're gonna need a lifeguard if you keep going, buddy. <laughs> I'm impressed because this is a little bit harder to tell exactly what came out of the Taco Bell ingredients. I think it's very well disguised here. This was a transformation. I think you found maybe this is a guess. Little pieces of ground beef in a taco. We'll throw it in here. That's good. I, I mean, I feel like this is going to score higher for creativity for me just because, who knows? I mean, I'm going to taste everything. Yeah. But you're just talking because right now. this kind of, this gives me very Italian vibes. So for this to come from Taco Bell, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Sure. Hey, we're, uh -huh. we're just taste testing. <laughs> you're ruining my whole experience. You're too professional. I'm like, a, it should be. You don't want to get too full after the first one. We can always come back. We can circle back. Number two. That would be an awkward thing to happen. Oh, it looks like it some really French fish. So like that. Back to number one real quick, though. Good bread. Really good bread. Garlic bread was well mm, Was that, was that uh, made in-house? <laughs> we'll do that. Ooh, that's a good move. Is that bread? Sandwich yeah. Sandwich again. There's I bread in the middle? I did not see that yeah. being bread. Okay. So that's, that. Okay. Talk about creative. There's a piece of, big piece of bread <laughs> in the middle of this. Got some French, yeah. some French shit happening over here. I've never seen that move before where you put <laughs> a piece nachos. of bread you have under some of the sauce? dip. Mm. Whatever this sauce is right here, this is the ish right here, man. I'm here, telling well, you guys to stop overeating and I'm over here grabbing that third bite. I think it's a good sign if we're all eating this one a lot. Oh my God. You probably can't see, but there's a giant piece of bread <laughs> in the oh, middle. Oh, it's stuffed with rice. <laughs> Oh shit, stuff with rice. More creativity points. Just rice with the bread? 
get. There's I'm about rice. To, I'm about to stop there talking was, right now. This just looked like a nacho plate, but now. <laughs> the bread threw me for a loop, but there's rice in the bread. Who does that? That's creative. I wasn't ready for it. Bring on the third plate. You want to just split this one? Okay. Thank you for manhandling my food. I'll, I'll take that one. First bite. Again. Good bread. I love pepperoni. I love pepperoni. Pepperoni is my weakness. Did anyone eat the nudes? <laughs> yeah, I tried a couple bites. The pasta, pasta, not noodles. Some Parmesan cheese and butter. I would say this is not the best pizza ever. But it's like more of a pizza bruschetta. It's not a pizza. Here's the minds that made all these three meals. They're right here, right? But here's two. The person who made two, that mind is so out there. And kind of, I don't know if she's a maniac or if she's just like an incredible cook or she's probably a little bit of both. But whoever made two has probably a little something wrong with her. But it, <laughs> but it, it, it worked. Everyone finished their judging, so I guess we'll just go down the line. Plate one, let's talk about plate one. All right, so creativity, I gave that a seven because I liked it. Seven's a really good one for me. Okay. I went with the 7.3. I like the. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> he wanted whole numbers. numbers. I think you actually mentioned earlier. I like uh, it. You know, you take a. I guess what start as Mexican. I guess food, but it's turned into a, definitely an Italian dish, which I guess would be creative. So no, yeah. 7.3. I gave a nine for creativity it's because like I felt like I would. <laughs> My bad. Nine. I gave a nine for creativity because I felt like I would not know that <coughs> any of that started with Mexican food. What about taste? I went with a seven again. Seven's a solid score. I give it a nine. I loved the taste. Uh, I went with 6.3. A little too creamy for me, but maybe that's because mm. of well, that's, a ton of thick cream. Yeah, that's a different judge. Yeah, different answer. Yeah, garlic. A, that's a, that's a taste. You hit creamy. me with the garlic. I love it. Presentation, right? Mm -hmm. That one I had to go down a point six. Eight. I actually thought 7.5. I like the sparkle of the green stuff on top. Mm -hmm. Nice little touch. What's the, what was the sparkle It wasn't too messy. I don't know. Uh, uh, what was parsley? That? Parsley. parsley? Oh, okay. Well, number two. Who uh, creativity then. Um, I went with an eight on that one. Creativity, I gave this one a six only because we started with Taco Bell and it came out as nachos to me. And I was like, this was before, I mean, I gotta say the rice in the bread, what? Like that was a surprise, <laughs> but it, it, it came out and it presented to me as nachos. And I was like, you can't start with Taco Bell. And we knew we had nachos in the pot and then nachos come out. I'm right. like, all right. Creatively, I was like, no, six. I don't know if my ears are all messed up, but is, is the category creativity? This is creative as bleep, a 9.7 for anybody at Whoa. home. This was the most creative dish by far. It just looks like uh, nachos and like, uh, you know, just like a typical nacho plate. You take a couple bites and then you see a piece of bread in the middle. <laughs> And then you dig a little deeper and somebody stuffed rice like a maniac in the bread. That's creative. I don't know if it's a good, uh, I don't know if it was good, but it was I think I think it was a risk. Taste. That one an eight also. Taste on this one was a six. I don't know. And I'm like, I'm sorry. No, I, I, <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like he looked at me No, 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 scary. because I saw I'm sorry. Time out, time out. 8.7. I like the taste a lot. 8.7. It was good. Okay. And lastly, presentation. Presentation. I went eight solid down. I did go eight for presentation on this one. Yeah. I thought the presentation was very interesting. I scored it a seven. Dish number three, right, creativity. Three. I gave that one a seven. I did do a nine for creativity. Again, I felt like it changed. It did a whole cultural shift. Went from Mexico to Italy? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Seven, creative. Taste. Seven. Six. 7.5. And then presentation. Presentation, Eight. seven. I don't know why, I have five written down. For my, my first reaction wasn't great, I guess. It's a heater. Yeah. I got real warm in here. Who do you think made dish number one? There can only be one person that can make that dish. I think that's Italian as freak. That is very Italian, but I'm gonna say- That one, look at that one. 
It's this one. I know, I know which one it is. Oh, you were looking at this over here. No, I was one. actually looking at this one. Oh. You know what? She was eating pizza earlier and my mind <laughs> was like... But don't think of that. Think of who... But I was like, but my but mind was like... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like Camilla yeah. was all about Ooh. the bacon. So yeah. I was like, but Camilla, yeah. I kind of felt Never like mind. Camilla was about the bacon though. <laughs> I just know you. She looks That's like why. she would mess with some bacon. I'll, I'll yes. tell why I think it's not her, but well, uh, well, I met these people like an hour ago. Well, <laughs> well, I'm going to go with number one, Carissa. All right. And then why do you think number one is not me? Because you can't have cheese. You can't. So that doesn't mean that. Hold on. Okay. That doesn't mean that you can't make something with cheese. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Is and it what you? Do you think, what do you think the well, secret ingredients is oh, in that? I think it was I like ground was beef. Kind... It was like a ground beef, like from a taco. Three. Ground beef from a taco. I think so too. And it wasn't that much of it. I'm gonna stick with this was Camilla, and I'm gonna. Really? Yeah, I think it was ground beef. Yeah. All right. Dish number two. Who do you think made dish number two? This is a tough one. I know. This one was Carissa. Then that's Carissa? Yes. That was Lindsay, because she's... I, the, you think this was Lindsay? Yeah. That's no that's way that's That's a psycho Carissa. move. It's a psycho move. No. She sounds psycho. Honestly, I'm fucking honored. The right. <laughs> and what ingredient do you think was used in there? I think like nachos. The nacho dish. Or some sort of... Yeah, it's nachos. Nachos. Yeah. 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 Definitely the cream stuff. The bread with the rice. It just... This does not read Ida Luca to me. Right. And I already went. Camilla, so I'm gonna have to say that. I'm sorry. I still feel like the first, I don't know. I feel like Carissa is like quirky and like this would be like a quirky kind. <laughs> and then the very last dish. Process elimination, this was Camilla. But uh, that's just because I know you can't have cheese. But this has cheese and this that, has cheese. This has, looks what? like it has butter. This has <laughs> cheese. Yeah, but this is free. Free. Is free. Like... How much cheese and dairy product is in that? A lot. Okay. That's my only basis I'm going there. That's really smart. Since he though. said Camilla, yeah. I, I mean, this is my last choice, then Camilla for number three, which makes me feel even more confident that I got all three right. Camilla on number three. This one, I'm going to give it to Lindsay because I know Lindsay was hungry for pizza. <gasps> See? Yeah, but she's not going to eat pizza twice. She's not going to eat pizza twice. No. Yeah. No. Oh, this was uh, some one of chicken. the chicken tacos. Yeah. There was chicken on this. Chicken. Yeah. All right. Well, Exhausted. <laughs> sorry to break it to you, but number one was me. And I what? I was like, damn, I was like, this girl was going. Yeah. Number two was actually Carissa. Carissa. The whole time she was making it, we're like, what are you, are you doing? doing? I think I'm stuck being She's like, she's like, 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 she's like, like sure. Three was so you kept it with the pizza. So okay. You got it right. I mean, all right. All of us. Although, actually, Brie got it like 100. Because yeah. I was going more for bruschetta than I was for pizza. A pizza. And for the record, I had Lindsay taste test my sauce before. Yeah, I'm a team player. Okay. I am the most psycho, and I'm proud of it. Yeah. And, and uh, in regards to ingredients, my dish, I used sour cream. The base is sour cream. Ooh, that way, a that's mixture of it. the sour cream and <laughs> the uh, the uh, the one that I bought, and also from the tacos. And it had ground beef and tomatoes. <laughs> so I um, I did the sour <laughs> cream. I put salsa. I did the taco steak, and then I did some shredded cheese in the that like mix that was on top. And then I used the rice from one of the dishes. <laughs> stuck that in the bread. Yeah, we, that was when we all stopped and turned our head and was like, are you okay? <laughs> and I used the tomatoes. Well, I chopped up the pepperoni and I mixed it with the tomatoes and the chicken mm. for like a bruschetta sure. thing with garlic and cheese, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> so in third place, it's Lindsay Ayo Oh, man. <laughs> with 62.5 points. 62.5. I passed. Um, right? 60 is passing? I did. Camilla got second place with 67.1. And Carissa won with 70.4 with her right What's stuff in front. What? Okay, you know what? That's a trash. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We are definitely going to do another cook off, but with a different judge and different fast foods. Um, I appreciate you guys both coming because you guys have yet to be in a roadie foodie video, yet to be in one of my one of my videos. So thank you so much. Thank you, Lupe, for also being a judge. And thank Always. you to Lindsay and Carissa over there for cooking with me and letting me make a mess of your kitchen. I'm sorry that I burned one of your pans again, Lindsay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye!